morning. It's Sunday, July 7th, and I haven't done a whole lot on the van in the last few days. On July 4th and 5th, I mostly cut grass and I cleaned out the garage. Um, <clears throat> so that's pretty much all I've done except for a few little things. So I'll show you what I have done and then show you what we're doing today. So these are the shelves from the sink cabinet. Um, the underside. Uh, I've already got three coats of polyurethane on the top side and this morning I put the second coat on the bottom side. So I think I'll only put two co coats on the bottom side. It really doesn't need that much that much protection. I just wanted to seal it up. And then I finished out the bed frame. Uh, put the vertical uprights in to attach to the L-track and I put a brace across the front the bottom so that I can uh, attach a panel to the front. I am going to just close this in and not actually have any way to get into it except by lifting the jackknife sofa up. Um, so anyway, so I got that bed frame made yesterday and stained and I got the first coat of polyurethane on it today. Now I'll show you what we're doing today. So today I'm working on this part of the, uh, the, the bed, the, the Murphy bed part. And what I have is a <coughs> metal uh, platform slide that was in the metal trash bin at work and it's perfectly fine. I, I guess they removed it from something, didn't want it, and threw it in the trash. So I snagged it and it's actually just the right depth to go do this if I can no. it's not gonna... to go right in there. So I can attach it there and there. Now because this angles in because of the shape of the van the back one is not in the right position but i will put a two by two upright and i will cut a groove in that two by two to slide it into here so it catches and then underneath the hole misses that two by two and i'll just drill a new hole into it and and screw it in so i've had to take this all apart so that i can get to it and so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut uprights for here and screw them in the top and bottom and then once I've done that I will connect these and then we'll be good to go now it does stick out too far um, just barely but it does stick out too far to put a door on the front which is fine I think what I will end up doing is just hanging a curtain up to cover it or I might just leave it open I mean I don't know um, I do have to figure out a way how to not make it slide um, out, so I've got to find, figure out how to do that. <clears throat> but with, I think probably what I will do is attach a strap here on the 2x2 two two and here, or maybe up here to hold the actual toilet, which will then hold the drawer from sliding. Um, that's probably a better idea because if I may, <laughs> if I put this in place so it doesn't slide, the toilet may slide off. Although I doubt, I kind of doubt it. It's got rubber, rubber grip bottoms on it underneath here. Um, so it doesn't really slide anything. Okay, let's get started. Before we get started on that, I also wanted to show you how the, uh, the slide doors ended up looking. Um, I actually used the back side of the Luan because it had a lot of grain to it and I quite like how those turned out. I will say if you make slider doors that are this tall the hole is probably better off being in the center because up here it makes it tilt some, so it makes it hard to slide.
Okay, so now I have stained it, and I'm going to let that dry for a while before putting the toilet drawer in, which is going to go right here. And then I will mount rails here and up here for two sliding doors right here. So I've been busy um, moving a bunch of brush and trees that we cut last fall <clears throat> up to the burn pile. Um, but I've also got, let's see, I just finished putting a third coat of polyurethane on this frame. And just put the first coat of polyurethane on the other frame. And I also cut the legs. I um, ripped 30 degrees off of each corner and then stained them so they're kind of sort of roundish octagon shape. And what I am going to do right now is I have this mat that I bought at Ocean State Job Lots. And I'm going to make a template for the door steps on each side and then cut, cut them out of this. clean the sand off my shoes before I get in and let me show you the driver's side and there's the driver's side okay I think I'm done for the day um, I haven't got a whole lot done but a lot of it was just hurry up and wait put a couple of polyurethane on wait a couple hours sand it put another coat on um, I actually started on the polyurethane on the Murphy bed section, probably before I should have, because I usually wait until the stain has been on there 24 hours. Um, but I just finished putting the second coat of polyurethane on the frame for the Murphy bed. Um, the Jackknife Sofa frame has three coats of polyurethane on it already, and I don't think I'm going to do any more than that. Um, it's not like the floor, you know, I've got five coats on the floor. And, let's see, hmm, I think that's about it, I mean, I got the mats in the door steps, a little fiddly job, didn't take very long, um, there's a few other fiddly things I could do that wouldn't take very long, but I'm actually kind of exhausted, I've done a lot of heavy lifting and moving stuff this weekend, between um, two days of cleaning out the garage, and today, moving all the trees and brush that had been cut last fall um, up to the burn pile. So I just want to relax for a little while. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll probably go to Home Depot after work and I'll pick up uh, drawer glides for this and figure out, start figuring out the, uh, the cabinet for this, for the, this and the oven stove. All right. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great evening. Hope you had a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Um, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.